Another fossil that's been used for matching South America and Africa are the so-called ostracods. These are little uh, shelled uh, animals that live in swamps, very, very small, rather like shrimps. And they are only found in this area and this area. And we know from their present day relatives that the larvae become sterile if they're exposed to seawater. So there's no possibility of the ostracods having crossed from this continent to this continent across an open ocean. The continents must, at the time of these ostracods, have been together. And the dating of the rocks in which those ostracods are found is quite interesting. They're about 100 million years old, perhaps a little bit older than that, 110, maybe 120. And in rocks that are younger than that, we don't find the same correspondence of fossils from South America to Africa. It seems that these ostracods were the last to be shared by these two continents, and it gives us a date for the breakup of this grouping of continents, Gondwanaland, as it's called. It seems that South America began to move away from Africa about 100 million years ago. Before that, India had already begun to move and eventually collided with Asia. Antarctica and Australia began to move as a unit, probably just a little before uh, the South Atlantic began to open up. So fossils can also give us an indication of the time at which the continents began to move apart. Now, there's other evidence for the former union of these continents in rocks that are uh, about 380 million years old, and that lies in the distribution of the traces of glaciation, an ice age in these continents about 450 million years ago. These colored pieces representing the area in which we find traces of glaciation in 450 million year old rocks. Now, of course, as the continents are presently situated, with India farther up here and these two separated, Antarctica down here, Australia over there, it makes no sense at all. But if we put them back together again, and close up according to the geometry of the continents, then this area, and we think that Antarctica has the same traces of glaciation, but of course it's much hidden by ice and we don't have very much evidence. This describes a very nice kind of polar glacial ice cap about 450 million years ago. Also evidence for the existence of this grouping of continents at a certain time. We think in fact that this grouping Gondwana land formed about 500 million years ago and began to split about 100, or began to split about um, oh, 180 million years ago and finally split into all of its fragments about 100 million years ago.